back to that forecast because what a beautiful weekend. I actually did yard work, Joseph. I've been talking nice. about it for like three weeks. I'm like, I really need to do it. This weekend, I finally said enough was enough. So. Yeah, you had it on the back burner for a while. I but know. I'm glad you... Those leaves. Yeah. yeah, but it sounds like people still have uh, several more days if, if they need to get it done. Yeah, plenty of dry time in the forecast. A lot of sunshine in the forecast if we can break through the fog. And we have in some locations and in others in the Willamette Valley, we are still caked with the low cloud coverage there and visibility has been issued and temperatures are really going to be the thing that is going to have a hard time today as far as warming up goes if you have that fog. Beautiful view coming out of Riverview Community Bank camera here in Vancouver. This is looking down to the south to the bridge across the river there into areas of Oregon where you can see the cloud coverage and the fog there in the distance. But it's so nice once you do kind of peel through those clouds and we bring in some sunshine and the sunshine will help with that as we go into the afternoon, especially around areas of Portland where it's already starting to open on up. Temperatures though in the upper 30s, that is it. That's all we can muster right now, but I think we'll probably get to the mid 40s by the time we head into the afternoon. The wind is calm, it's going to remain calm, and that's another issue. There's nothing to really stir in some drier air. High pressure is over the top of us, but you can really see it closer to the surface to the west here. You can see how it's kind of sweeping across and around. Uh, to the aloft wind, the wind that's above our heads, coming out of the northwest, and uh, that's uh, leaving us nice and clear for the mountains and other locations across the state, just not in these little bowls, which we call valleys for us here. All right, so you can see the current visibility, especially to the south where the wind is really just calm and it's not going to be doing much today, that the visibility is going to be low. The fog town to the south is probably going to be the biggest issue heading into the afternoon. It's going to be really tough to kind of stir in again some drier air and to warm things up. So what we have going on is all this fog down in the valley, but aloft up the slopes of the mountains there. It's out of the fog coverage. It's warmer aloft. That cold air is dense. It sinks down to the valley floor, it traps pollutants. It leaves things kind of foggy and just above our heads. It's actually warmer and sunnier, and that's why the mountain today is looking beautiful. Air stagnation advisory, though, is in place until Wednesday because everything getting trapped. You'll really notice that later in the day. Right now we're doing OK. We do have green signs across the board here in the Willamette Valley. Here's the scene up in Mountain Hood Meadows. So if you're to the west or to the south and you're just stuck underneath the clouds, well, heading out to the coast or up to the mountain is a great idea. Notice the temperature too, 42 degrees. It's warmer than areas here in the Willamette Valley right now. Beautiful day to be up on the mountain to do some skiing and snowboarding. Timberline Lodge, about 43. Down to Parkdale, you start heading down uh, towards areas of the gorge. Those temperatures are colder at Parkdale at 28 degrees. So it's actually warmer aloft. As I mentioned, that's the temperature inversion. It gets warmer instead of colder as you go higher up in the air. Okay, here's the ski report. We haven't had any fresh snowfall, but there's still a nice base out there. If you have plans to get up to the mountain this week, it's a good time to do it. No fresh snow, but a lot of sunshine. Temperatures in the 40s there. You can see the snow levels. Ah, but maybe on Sunday there we start to see some colder air arrive. Futurecast keeping us nice and dry. I'm just going to speed on through. Not a lot happening, so there's really not a good reason to stop, but we'll stop Wednesday morning just for a second there. You can see fog into areas of the lower Columbia Basin and over to the Willamette Valley. We dry on up by Wednesday afternoon again. We kick that fog out of here Thursday, just about the same song and dance there. And then we start seeing more clouds and maybe a pattern shift as we head into the weekend, but still not much rain popping up on the future cast. Uh, rain chances do increase as we start our February, though. So we get through this month towards the end of the month. We may start seeing some showers on that Sunday and heading into Monday there. And then for February, we may have a couple isolated showers, but it sure seems like we'll have plenty of dry time as we wrap up the month here for January. All right, seven day forecast. You already know what's going on. We have uh, fog in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon. Temperatures holding to the 40s. Yeah, sun's coming out this afternoon for us. So that's nice. We may be a bit warmer than that. But here's uh, what we're looking at as far as temperatures go heading into the weekend. 48 degrees there on Friday, Saturday at 50. I think we're pretty dry on Saturday till maybe late at night. And then there we go on Sunday. There's finally a chance for some rain. But Jenny, we've had three weekends in a row where it's been sunny and dry. Mm -hmm. This weekend we may end up with a little bit of rain. That's okay. We need the rain. We do. So yeah, we need more mountain snow good. too. I know exactly. Okay. <laughs> all right. It's all it's all good for the environment. All yeah. Good. All right. We'll be right back with more news and a final look at your forecast.